my beautiful beautiful scorpios welcome to first eye visions my name is q and i'm here to do a general reading i want to tap into the energy boy there's a lot of energy going on beloveds so many energies it's a lot that's happening even in my own personal chart at this time uh i have a trine going right now and it's really beautiful to see how these celestial energies how it impacts my life here so the statement you know that claim of as above so below is materializing in my life very powerful energy we just had the aries lunar eclipse we had the scorpio full moon yesterday on five five and we are also dealing with this pluto uh in mercury energy along with I said Pluto and Mercury. Pluto in retrograde energy along with Mercury in retrograde. Um, and this is all happening right now during Taurus season. And those three signs, uh, Aries, Scorpio, and Taurus, are very significant in my chart. Uh, those are my placements for my rising, my sun, and my moon. And so um there's a lot of changes beloveds um a lot of changes taking place changes for the better though these are changes that i'm actually um embracing changes that i now can see uh in hindsight that i've been preparing for all of this time so i am getting a sense that uh what i am going through especially with pluto as i said in retrograde and pluto pluto being the planet that um is scorpio's ruling planet a lot of us will be experiencing major major changes you will be closing out cycles and these will be those uh those final final um um exits out of certain certain situations and circumstances and it's just a beautiful energy to navigate uh i don't feel fear you know i don't feel a sense of fear i feel a sense of determination and will uh with this energy i feel optimism i feel excitement uh as well as strength you know there's a a, a very beautiful energy of of standing firm standing on your ground standing up for yourself standing for what you believe in ultimately so it's really an energy of of living your truth doing what makes you feel good doing what's best for you best for your uh for your own peace of mind for your own happiness so many of you scorpios may be experiencing uh these changes but there is no fear associated with the change it's only excitement scorpios are typically known to be very fixed signs so i think the reason why i keep emphasizing no fear is because a lot of times when you don't know what the outcome is going to be or you don't have that reassurance uh, you can sometimes allow fears uh, to to inhibit you, uh, to block you, or to um, prevent you from taking such you know certain actions. But with this new energy, as I said, um, it's really about uh, coming into a new space, a new time. Maybe even looking at things with a fresh perspective. Uh, because whatever you've endured or whatever you've experienced in your path, in your past, uh, excuse me, it, it was preparing you for this very right here, right now moment. So beautiful energy I'm picking up for Scorpios. I will each and every one of you beautiful souls that's tuning and tapping in are feeling amazing, wonderful mind, body and soul feeling in alignment you know feeling strong right now definitely trusting your intuition uh really going within you know doing a lot of introspection uh perhaps will be very beneficial journaling is also going to be very very helpful uh for you to understand uh certain things that may show up in your dreams or maybe there's certain synchronized events or maybe you're seeing certain angelic numbers uh but journaling and then re um re re viewing it later will be helpful i feel like you'll get a lot of 
of, of downloads. You'll have certain uh, epiphanies that you will uh, begin to put the pieces to the puzzle together. Things will start to uh, become clearer. Things will make sense. So that's what I'm picking up intuitively. I welcome each and every one of you beautiful souls that may be new to the channel. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am also a Scorpio. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So during this reading, you will hear me playing music. You'll hear me referencing songs. And the way that it works, the way I do things on my side of the planet is... Um, the messages within the song, name of the song, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, name of the artist, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be saying. And it all just blends very beautifully. Um, my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So again, if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Check your natal chart, check your other placements, and see if there are other messages that will be uh, more conducive to your experience. Uh, my readings are also timeless. So whenever you have found this video or whenever this video has found you, that was all in divine timing and in divine order that you have done so, beloved. To all of my beautiful soul tribe, soul family that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I send a big fat old ashe yo to each and every one of you. I will that you all are feeling firm, grounded, mind, body, and soul. I'm sending infinite love and light as well as peace, power, and protection to the all. So let's proceed with the read but before we do let's go ahead and do some house cleaning i'll share i call upon the elements of water fire earth air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, 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 beautiful souls. It is 2.44 on the clock. 2 plus 8 equals 10. And we have um, Goapoli, and this is called Butterfly Kisses. So this is beautiful. Um, butterflies represent transformation, um, change. It represents shifts uh, that are taking place. It's very beautiful energy of, uh, you know, a completely different, um, I feel it's like an ending, but it's also denoting a new beginning. Uh, when you think of the journey of a butterfly, you know, the way that the butterfly evolves, uh, it's a very beautiful story. And I feel that's very significant in your story. Uh, you've gone through a startling metamorphosis that two and eight, first and foremost, reduces to ten. So tens are, again, speaking of completions, uh, speaking of endings, something's coming full circle. Uh, there have been many lessons learned. And when you get to the 10, that means that you are uh, embarking upon a fresh start. So there's something new. There's lessons you've learned uh, through sitting in that hermit stage, in that hermit mode, uh, really absorbing ab and, and, and doing the introspective work, doing some self-reflection or some self-analysis, self-assessment and coming to certain conclusions or coming to certain realizations of you know what your heart truly desires and yearns for and embarking upon that with those things in mind so this is about really uh fresh starts fresh perspectives and embarking upon your dream chasing your dreams going after your dreams doing the things that uh really inspire and invigorate you um emotionally energetically uh just spiritually so there's something new that you are uh manifesting a new uh 
circumstance or a new experience uh, that you may be having at this time that I feel a lot of you have manifested. Uh, that one is associated with uh, the magician, the magi, the alchemist. So you have perhaps set an intention or have done some rituals to manifest this fresh start that you all are experiencing at this time and you're starting to see these things take place that you once visualized that you once written down in your journals that you once spoken to the ethers and and was hoping for and desiring it is now here that time has come so it's a beautiful energy of something new uh, that you will be pursuing ones are always gifts from uh, like the angels because or the ancestors or source or universe or God however you define um, the all the you know omnipotent and omni uh, <laughs> you know that omnipotent energy whatever you however you define it it's like you're co-creating with that energy so you have been anointed you know you have been blissed with uh this ability to set your intention or maybe you have have owned the power um to manifest you've owned that power you finally realized your power uh and you are now standing in it you're now owning it so you're creating your reality you're setting your intentions you're visualizing life the way you see it um so this is beautiful energy scorpio so let's tap and tune in so you already know I like to start off with the numerology deck. So let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck. So this is beautiful. Look at that. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. So we have this 93. That's a happy ending here. So this is a beautiful, you know, um, confirmation of what I just uh, expounded on, what I was just saying about a beautiful fresh start, something new. Uh, look how yellow and sunny that is. The purple um, in this symbol is very uh, indicative of you being very uh, in tune, very sensitive right now, psychically. You may be having a lot of vivid dreams at this time, Scorpios, but I also feel this is showing that you have uh, reached a certain level of self-mastery. The three is associated with that solar plex, and the solar plex is uh, very indicative of the sun that shines within us. So this speaks to your strength, it speaks to your confidence, your courage, uh, it speaks to your inner wisdom, that gumption uh, that you have to uh, trust in order to make certain decisions or in order to embark upon certain dreams or goals. So you have that courage, you have that wise dome, and that's why it's leading you to some happy and, uh, you know, happy fresh start or a happy ending after some sort of completion. You're, it's ending better than it may have began. And so this is really showing, like I said, that the, the the reaching that higher level of self mastery um, and being more mindful uh, to set intention to take time to meditate meditate to get things straight uh, you're contemplating your movements your 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 actions before just just jumping out there so there's more of um, you know an observation or there's more of of uh, just that. Um, you know, just observing, you know, what the circumstance, how the circumstance could play out. But this three is also, like I said, that deals with not only the solar plexus, uh, you know, the solar plexus is the third chakra, but that's also speaking to uh, the empress energy. Whether you're a masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. Uh, when you're embodying this this empress or emperor energy, that is a, an air of regalness, royalty, um, an air of all of the aforementioned confidence uh strength even power wise dome uh the emperor and empress they rule empires so in order to be in a position where you're ruling an empire that means you have to take on the role as a leader so you may be teaching others you're being appointed as a teacher as a healer as a shaman a light worker um you are being uh called you know to to start uh, embarking upon your role as um, someone who is who may be uh, chosen to to help heal the collective or to help others uh, so this is beautiful energy with that happy ending I feel like you have absolutely uh, been put in a position to 
see things from a different perspective. So maybe there were a lot of lessons uh, learned, karmic lessons learned, but also a lot of old ideologies and belief systems I feel you may have had to uh, get rid of, discard of, because they were no longer serving you. Um, this nine and three reduces to 12, and 12 is associated with the hangman. So I do feel that there were um, a lot of times and moments uh, where you had to kind of sit alone um, in, in solitude uh, to assess things from a different perspective, look at things from other vantage points. Maybe this is how others are now viewing you from a different perspective, seeing your work and your value. Um, we have tweet singing complain. So maybe with that number three, uh, you know, maybe there were some karmic lessons learned because you were uh, dealing with a hard, a lot of heartache and pain in your past. You know, maybe there was sudden loss. Um, and a lot of you suffered in silence, I'm feeling, uh, with that complain, you know, because she says I wouldn't complain in the lyrics. So I feel like a lot of you may have suffered in silence because uh, that three is giving me the three of swords. Uh, it's also giving me a sense of like, you know, um, you know, kind of like manifesting something new after experiencing something really painful. And that's why you have a happier ending because maybe the, the start uh, wasn't as um, happy. And what did I say about leadership? So you are having a happy ending because you're taking the reins of your life. Um, this nine, three still reduces to 12, which is still three. So this is what has shaped and molded you. Um, you know, I'm getting the three of pentacles also because I feel like there's been a collaborative effort where you may have really started to tap into your divinity creating. Uh, and as I said, you start to uh, co-create with source. So whatever not Knowledge, whatever wisdom, wisdom you've obtained, I feel like this has allowed for you to um, really master, manifest something here. And it's it's put you in a position where you have uh, taken control over your life. You're being very bold. You're being very daring. Um, and I just feel a sense of determination and drive. You know, Scorpios are um, very much uh, capable of running empires, very strong-willed and very uh, determined to, uh, you know, especially when you have people doubting your abilities, uh, you can become very determined to prove folks wrong. So I do feel like, you know, where there was doubt, perhaps, where there was heartbreak, uh, that's why this happy ending is here because, you know, good things are um, working out in your favor. So let's tap into the my beautiful Scorpios right now. We have Lauren Hill, Lost Ones. So I do feel, like I said, there were uh, some painful endings, sudden loss. You know, some folks may have uh, lost a real one. You know, uh, you might win some, but you just lost one. So it's like someone may have thought that they, uh, you know, that they've gotten some sort of, you know, maybe they felt like they got over. You know, maybe they felt like they got the, you know, they got the better half of the deal. But it's like they lost one, which is you, the original. They lost someone very unique, very rare. Um, but it's beautiful energy because it's, it's like you're taking your power back is what I'm feeling. It's this energy of like now you know who you are, you know your worth and value. So it's like you're, you're departing from anything that isn't uh, vibrating on your frequency, that isn't, you know, made in your likeness, that isn't like positive or, or high vibrational if it's not on your frequency this you're not really uh entertaining it so let's tap in let's tap in to see what the cards have to say about spirit of love and light peace power and protection let me get a message from my beloved scorpio spirit so someone lost you with that lost one you could have left left someone behind left something behind like i said there's uh completions here so this can definitely be your sentiment that you're leaving everything behind that no longer serves your highest good because every ending denotes a very brand new beginning. This card here will represent your overall energy and we have this six love. So with this six love and lost ones playing, I feel like this could be a potential person from your past. This is someone that could have thought the grass was greener on the other side because before you get to the six of cups, you have the five of cups and the five of cups speaks to regret. Someone's regretting 
um, you know, losing you. You know, this is someone that may communicate telepathically or intuitively, or maybe they just think of you frequently, dream of you often. Uh, but this is someone that does have um, a lot of love for you. This could also speak to you, um, you know, perhaps doing something that you love that is, you know, um, rooted in, you know, perhaps psychic powers or maybe you're, you're utilizing your cerebral energy. Uh, so maybe you could be psychic. Maybe you could be clairaudient, clairvoyant. Maybe you could be telepathic, intuitive. Maybe you're using uh, something, um, you know, this is like your first eye. You know, six is associated with the first eye. Six is also the lovers in traditional tarot. So that could speak to new partnerships. You could be coming into a very spiritual partnership. Um, it could be something that's written in the stars. It could be even a past life love or it it could even be someone from your past or maybe it's something that you're doing that you used to love that you wasn't doing for a long time because you could have been just you know overburdened and overwhelmed with other responsibilities and now you could be um you know kind of like revisiting something that you were very passionate about uh because this does speak to like partnerships and unions so maybe you will start finding yourselves uh meeting other like minds uh maybe there will be opportunities to network with other individuals that are just as in tune just as spiritual just as connected um what we have on the bottom of the deck is financial discipline so this does break down to 12 again this is three so maybe someone that you will meet um someone that you will meet will want to collaborate i get a sense of someone seeing you as like seeing you as a very valuable and um asset like they see you as an asset they see you as an asset and not a liability is what i'm hearing in my mind's eye but they also see that you're single you're independent um whatever you have accomplished in your life it's like you have accomplished it on your own through your own hard work this is someone that can see themselves building with you uh collaborating as i said um because they can see that you are very determined they can see that you're very disciplined as well um you're very focused so this is someone that does want to build some form of an alliance or build this partnership because they appreciate the way that you love what you do you know and and, and maybe this can also develop or evolve into a love connection a love dynamic you will meet someone with whom you may come into a beautiful partnership with you may have like a spiritual uh, career and you will partner with someone who will become like your spiritual partner they will be very supportive uh, you may both connect and collaborate on different projects together or uh, you will team up together very beautifully. This like this is someone that is a like mind. Um, this could be someone that you are already familiar with because I just get a sense of there already being some sort of roots. As I said, with the six love, that could be someone from your past or that could be someone from a past life. But I do get a strong sense of like business. This is related to like um, some form of partnerships, uh, um, developing, uh, uh, it's deeper than just love. I feel like this will not only just be a love ship, but I feel it will be a spiritual partnership. So you will partner up with this person, um, and there will be business dealings and, and there will also be, you know, um, a relationship, a love ship that you will be cultivating with this energy, with this person. We have Jill Scott, my love playing. So with this, my love, I do feel strongly that, as I said, this will become something um, even more. This is like almost like the beginning of a beautiful love story is what I'm getting. So let's tap in. So who is this that my beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And look at that. We have the three creativity, beautiful, sunny, yellow card. So this is showing strongly um, that you are trusting your intuition first and foremost. Um, you are owning your power. You're very radiant right now, very attractive. You know, um, you're birthing new ideas, birthing new ways of thinking. You're birthing new projects at this time. I feel like you're really, really uh, doing the things you love the most, whatever that may be. You can have so many different things going on at once and you don't even feel overwhelmed because these are things that fulfill you. Uh, these are passions that are uh, fulfilling. So that's why there's this sense of just peace and happiness and joy. Um, and when you are 
radiating in that vibration, that energy. It makes you very attractive. And you also have the ability to kind of like transfer that same glow and love and light to others. So it's like, as I said earlier, it's like you're teaching others. Um, it's like you're teaching and others are learning from you uh, because you are, you know, in that energy of the Empress. Uh, there are new ideas and new uh, things that you are manifesting and creating, um, tapping into your divinity uh, and also having that awareness that you are uh, a master manifester that you can co-create with source that you do have the power uh, to set intention um, to get what you desire out of a circumstance this is a very confident uh, self-aware energy um, this is a leader this is a boss uh, even if you're a masculine regardless you know that emperor is you know the empress's uh, suit uh, so this just speaks to um, a very powerful energy the sun that shines within you that three uh, shows how confident um, and just how uh, courageous you know and strong you've been you know and you've now owning that power and and you're in, and, and really just emitting just this this energy of 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 as i said uh confidence regalness royalty uh, strength you know courage wise don't just a beautiful glow of love so the person or whatever you're attracting to you we have the number seven which is personal growth so someone is also learning and growing you know, they're going through their own startling metamorphosis. They're also very psychic, very in tune. And we have this number five, change. So they are experiencing many changes. That seven and five reduces to 12. So that could be the person that I was picking up on earlier that was kind of like looking at you with a completely different perspective. Maybe now seeing your worth, seeing your value, seeing you as someone that they could partner up with or network with or build some sort of alliance or uh, build some sort of uh, connection or cultivate a connection with you because maybe someone has learned and realized that they love you. Um, maybe now it's making sense with personal growth. They could have had to you know, mature a little. Maybe someone was emotionally uh, immature or stunted or someone lacked empathy or maybe someone just didn't allow themselves to be vulnerable but this is someone now who's uh coming back perhaps with regrets um maybe this is just you know a twin flame a soulmate that may be coming in towards you uh with this six and this three the seven to five breaks down to twelve i do feel like this nine is showing that there are some major changes um there's changes because someone now sees and feels that you've been very distant or you've been very guarded um, because you've been really, you've learned to protect your peace after you experience some sort of sudden loss or some sort of painful experience with that three that we saw earlier, the three of swords I was picking up on. Um, I do feel like you've taken the time to work on yourself because that nine um, that I get here because the six and the seven and the five reduced to nine so that is telling me that you have you know been in like a hermit mode where you've been recovering uh, you've established boundaries you're not just letting anyone in um, you've given people a lot of chances and you felt let down you felt hurt which is why you had that three of swords but you've learned from that you didn't use that as an opportunity to remain a victim or to remain bruised damaged and you know hurt and traumatized you took that time in in, while you were in solitude uh, to really work on yourself. That's where the introspection and um, ultimately the self-awareness, uh, you know, was birthed, you know, while you sat in incubation, you know, you, you were really... Uh, uh, releasing and getting rid of things that weren't serving you because uh, that nine is the highest number in vibration of change and so um, that's the reason why I feel like now there's someone that sees you uh, as being you know very uh, independent now now you know your worth now you know your value now you know what you can contribute to a situation uh, so you may be very selfish right now loving yourself as I said embarking upon your dreams pursuing your dreams doing things that matter to you and not really concerning yourself with other people's expectations of you so that's a beautiful place how this person sees you We're about to pull and again we got that three so they see you in a very beautiful light as I said very radiant very attractive very powerful and we have uh, Mary Mary and this is called it's the God in me so they can see God in you 
you know they can see god in you whether feminine or masculine energy i'm picking up on they can see god in you they see you as i said you know as someone who has reached that level of self-mastery um that empress and that emperor energy they are you know they rule empires so that means that you have to take on that leadership role and you have to uh be very confident you have to take action you have to be very um disciplined self-aware you know strong uh confident and this is everything that you're embodying at this point in time and i feel there may be some people my throat chakra is getting <coughs> blocked let me get it let me get this car my car my um stone just fell <coughs> let me get my um my water hold on a moment <coughs> My throat is getting so dry, part of me. I don't mean to be all in your ear. I know that's annoying. Oh. Whew. Mouth was dry, dry. All right. Okay, I'm gonna put that here so I don't have to keep going past the screen. So how they feel about you, about to pull that energy. So like I said, they see God in you. So this Empress, they embody the characteristics and attributes of all of the Queens, uh, just as the Emperor embodies all of the characteristics and attributes as all the Kings. So very in tune, very tapped in, very powerful. So let's tap in. So how does this person know how to, what is our beautiful Scorpios attracting to them? Thank you, Spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. I can't make this up. And we have self-discipline here, 41, on the bottom of the deck. So that will be when we pull what's hidden. So let me show you what came out. Very interesting, the cards that came out. So this right here, this is, um, we have happy ending and we also have effort. And then we also have this teaching and learning card, which is something that I said a couple of times. And that reduces to that 12. So someone is absolutely learning from you. Now, mind you. We have the 57. So this is showing you how the, whoever you're attracting to you is mirroring you because you're 57 and they're 75 here. And this is literally what teaching and learning is. With this personal growth, someone is learning. Someone is, you know, look at that, 57, 75. So it's the same cards, you know, kind of reversed. And this is their energy and your energy together. So as I said, someone is learning from you. Uh, and they are glowing. They're learning to trust their intuition. They're also realizing how psychic you are. And so they could be sending you messages telepathically, um, you know, especially with this five that's associated with the throat chakra. So uh, this person could literally be speaking things into perhaps like a candle or setting some sort of intention um, to, you know, kind of calling you in. I feel how they see you as they see you as their happily ever after. They see you as that person that can provide that happy house happy spouse vibration um this is someone that sees you know the changes the transformation that 13 is the number of death you know that's the number of the death card in traditional tarot so they have seen you like have this death but this this beautiful you know emergence of a new and improved version of yourself and it's very attractive and it's also very intimidating um what we have here is we have three and 13, uh, which is seven and seven and three, that's 10. Remember when we started the reading, it was 244, so that was 10. So this is someone that has literally um, watched you go through some sort of major transformation in your life, an enormous change or something shifted. And now you're on the precipice of this new start, this brand new beginning. This is someone that could see themselves having, you know, that happily ever after, as I said. They could see you as someone that they could have, you know, emotional fulfillment along with financial fulfillment because they can see themselves not only having a love ship, but also a spiritual partnership, working together, collaborating on different projects together. Um, the emperor and empresses are uh, 
very much the entrepreneurs so they turn a thought into reality so maybe this is something that they have witnessed within you with this self-discipline 41 and we're about to pull the energy for what's hidden that five is not only just speaking to the throat chakra someone desiring to communicate and perhaps you you know making a decision not to communicate because you've been working on yourself i feel someone has also been learning that five is associated with the hierophant as well so that speaks of seeking higher wisdom seeking higher knowledge um higher uh understanding of the self even um again this is a ter teaching and learning uh card as well sitting at the feet of elders seeking advice going to a master t-shirt uh speaking to you know perhaps uh an elder or a matriarch or patriotic uh patriarch family uh member in your family pardon me uh but this is definitely um a card of of soaking up information you know wise dome so this is beautiful someone is this is what's hidden we're about to pull the card for what's hidden and this is what's on the bottom of the deck so i do feel you know with the self-discipline maybe someone is really fighting their desire or urge uh to communicate to open up to express something uh that's ego based and maybe someone is, is about to change something because this five also speaks to change so remember the person um that you are attracting to you they had seven personal growth and they also had change so maybe they are realizing that they have to change their perspective or they have to change something um that they're doing because it's not garnering the results or it's not producing uh you know anything uh of value so they are changing some things having a change of heart even a change of direction something is changing and we have uh, Rihanna diamonds you know so someone sees you as a diamond in the rough as I said rare breed someone that is not easy to bump into twice in a lifetime uh, as I said this could be a past life love because that six love is just you know giving me the energy of like the lovers and if you look at the lovers card you know in traditional tarot uh, there is an angel overseeing that beautiful union which means that it could be conspired by your angels ancestors your spirit team your your divine uh you know spiritual parents to you know align you not only with uh a person that you love or a person that you're divinely meant to be with but perhaps it could be aligning you with your life's mission um your soul's mission your life's path so this is beautiful and with the self-discipline this is about you know that scholarly energy tutelage learning growing evolving maturing um this is about maturation growth so growing from the pains this is like you know the growing pains if you will this is beautiful so let's tap in so what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection for my beautiful scorpio spirit we get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. And so we have karmic completion. I can't make this up. So absolutely endings. Every ending denotes a new beginning. So this is a beautiful confirmation to what has been spoken before we even touch the cards. And so we have surrender and we have also um, financial discipline. So I feel like a lot of you all with this surrender, this is about letting go of um, perhaps a career that is no longer serving you and with this diamonds playing by Rihanna it's like um, it's almost like knowing your worth diamonds are um, a beautiful rare stone a rare gem it's 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 you know not even rare but uh, a beautiful and and uh, um, it is rare you know it, it's just a beautiful because no two diamonds are alike uh, so it's just like this is about letting go of something uh, that no longer interests you, like not feeling trapped, you know, this is really about, you know, freeing yourself so that you can embark upon something perhaps that you feel a lot of passion for, something that you have been called to do, that you feel you've been called to do, and maybe you've been allowing fears to hinder you or to um pump fear in you and now there's this 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 you know this this sense of like now you're feeling fearless you know more determined than enter anything to to go after what you desire um 
with this 91 and this 48, this reduces to four. So four is about stability. You know, this is also about, you know, that's that emperor energy as well. Um, but the four is associated with the heart chakra. And so your heart is, is really uh, perhaps calling you in a different direction. Um, you have to trust head and heart. When you surrender to spirit, uh, he works miracles, you know, and I feel like a lot of you may have been trying to control the narrative or to control something uh, so that it can work out for you. And I feel like spirit is really telling you um, that now is the time to complete this cycle. Now is the time. It's better than ever to let something go. Uh, because it's almost as if spirit is saying that you have been you've been holding on to something for far too long and if you surrender to spirit that means that you're trusting uh spirit and there's a train so it's like some of you all got too far gone like too far uh from yourself or too far from your path passions and that's why spirit is saying surrender and trust the process because there is something that you are very passionate about that you love that you do very well and spirit is going to bring stability bring happiness bring joy bring love um because this is your time this ten is saying that it was a cycle you know there's always divine timing uh to consider and i feel like whatever you know you have been holding on to and trying to control by keeping something um you know just gripping holding on to something that you very well should let go of it's like whether you realize it or not it, it's meant to go it's meant to leave um we have sparkle here and this is called um time to move on look at that it is sparkle and it's called time to move on as i'm talking about whatever this is you've been holding on to and gripping it's like spirit is telling you the the cycle's up the cycle is up it's done you know you've already learned the lessons obviously there were karmic lessons and i feel like your karmic lesson perhaps was you needed to learn to trust in your own ability to manifest or trust in your own ability um to create your reality uh, beautiful energy you know what Scorpios are able to do is um, very um, you know a lot of people admire it because we reinvent ourselves so many times in a lifetime Scorpios go through many deaths in a lifetime which is why I was feeling with that three earlier that I was seeing um, that there was like uh, you know some sort of painful ending some loss uh, but you always turn pain into power uh, because you are that conduit of change and you do know how to transmute energy. Um, but I do feel like what you learned was for you to uh, predict your future was you had to create it. You had to manifest it. And I'm getting a strong sense right now um, that you realize that only you can fulfill your destiny and nobody else. Nobody else can do that. And so that's why you're now uh, you know, operating from this place of discipline. Uh, when you're disciplined, that means that you're doing what's best for you. That means that you're doing things that and, and prioritizing um, your life. You know, you're prioritizing your life. You're doing the things that uh, that feel good to you. That that, that like I said, that you love or that really um, intrigues you. You know, that really fulfills you. So that's beautiful. So let's see what the outcome is for my beautiful Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. So my spirit of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. And we have manifestation. So you all are master manifesting everything that's taking place in this life right now. In your lives right now. In this junction of your life right now. And it's from your own hard work and efforts. You know, there's definitely this sense with that 6-7 and physical activity. So again, that 13, that's the death. But look at the 7-7 spirituality so a lot of you all are embarking upon a spiritual career like you will be very successful um in some sort of spiritual career whatever you've learned through those karmic lessons whatever endings you've experienced was all uh it was not for naught it was so that you can uh push forward with this endeavor whatever this endeavor may be with this seven seven spirituality i feel like you're attracting 
um, your likeness, you're attracting like-minded individuals, your soul tribe, your soul family. These are things and circumstances you've manifested and I feel that there's going to be so much joy and peace and a happy ending as we see here because it's almost as if um, you have you know, been very obedient to learn these lessons and when you are obedient to spirit, uh, you'll start to receive, you know, confirmation along the way that you are, you know, on the right path or that you have been chosen for something. Underneath the manifestation is completion. Two things I said, and there goes that spiritual partnership. I can't make this up. So there goes the spiritual partnership that I was telling you about. I was feeling strongly that not only are you potentially uh, manifesting a new love ship, a new beautiful connection with someone that you will uh, write a beautiful love story, but you're also, um, you know, attracting your spiritual partner, someone that you will be able to collaborate with, build with, grow with, build a nucleus. Um, and you've manifested this after some sort of ending. It's like you've manifested this. You've definitely, uh, you've uh, gone through something. Look at that. They go spiritual career. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. So whatever you've persevered from, survived from, healed from, grew from, learned from, that's what is preparing you for the spiritual career. You have been anointed. You have been called. Spiritual partnership is right next to that. So you will be in some sort of uh, partnership. There will be some profound connection that you will develop with someone. And not only will you do business with this person, but I feel like you will also... Uh, grow a beautiful love connection with this individual as well. This could be a past uh, life love because we have relationship change. So if you are single, um, I do feel like you will be meeting your likeness. As I said, uh, this is powerful and someone else is mirroring you. So very powerful energy, Scorpio. So this is beautiful. I hope the messages resonate. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like button, the share button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope you stay a while. Uh, if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. Until next time, it's a big fat peace.